Hi, welcome back to Paint with Josh. Today we're gonna to be working with black gesso. A lot of you might not know what black gesso is and don't worry, I didn't use this stuff until like two years into painting. I was like, I don't know what it is. I don't wanna go ask anybody. I don't watch anyone else's videos, so I didn't look it up and I didn't know what it was. So I'm gonna show you how to use it and how we prep one of these dry canvases for like a half and half seascape or a, you know, one of the Bob Ross scenes where you, you know, turn the canvas this way. And you can do a lot of things. So make your canvas half and half black and white. That's what we're here to do today. We're gonna to use our Liquitex gesso. So let's shake that up. We're gonna use our, our this is one inch blue uh, painter's tape. And all we wanna do is stretch it across. And we're only worried about the bottom line, right? Not the top line, but you can see there's much more room on the bottom of the canvas than there is on the top of the canvas, right? So we're gonna wrap it around, peel it off, make sure it's straight, Josh, for the video, come on. And just like that. And again, we're only worried about what the bottom line, everything on the bottom is gonna be black, everything in the above this line, right? So plus an inch will be white. So we're gonna put that, stretch it, run it along the bottom, right? It doesn't matter on the top. We're not gonna do the top, just gonna stay down here. Make sure it's nice and tight to the canvas. It's not gonna lift. Our canvas is nice and protected in the easel. Now we need to get out a little acrylic brush and you'll notice the difference between one of the Bob Ross brushes that I normally use and this crappy little acrylic brush, right? I don't wanna get acrylic on these gorgeous soft brushes. These you can buy for like a dollar and, uh, and throw them away when they get too bad, right? So you can see we use black a lot with this one. But get your old nasty crappy brush and you can either use a paper plate or a palette or whatever. I have this big old Santorini stone that came from Yvonne's Santorini stone store. She sends me a few of these and I use one as my black gesso palette basically. So put that big old thing down here, shake it up like this, go right, a big old pile. You can always go back and add more, but you can see now my black acrylic gesso is starting to run off of my little tray here. So I'm gonna get a lot of it on the brush and let's come up right below the tape. Right, I'm not gonna go any higher than that on the tape. Just wanna have enough black up there that it stays nice and dark. And then this is acrylic paint. You've gotta work fast if you want it to move, right? So blend it down as much as we can get, back and forth, back and forth. So you're not flinging it all over your house, right? Get along the sides. And then when you get done and peel this tape off, it's literally gonna look like you bought it from Michael's. It's gonna be gorgeous. Gonna be gorgeous. Finish the edges. Right, where are we at? Ooh, over there. That's what I can see. And then when we get done, I'm gonna flip it over, finish the bottom too. So you can do that. I'll do that part off camera. All right, we'll take this. Just big old mushy amounts of that acrylic and it dries so fast. All right, so we're just putting it on and we're stretching it, letting it slide over itself. And this is what it would be like with oils on a dry canvas. That's why when I do it and you see it works so well and, and seamless, it's because we've already prepped the canvas with the clear or the white paint that allows it to blend easily, right? Otherwise you'd be working like this all day with the oil paints trying to get them to fill in all these little sections of our, our bare canvas, right? Take some more of this black, come up here. And you can see it doesn't want to move really, right? You got to kind of dab at it, fill in all those little dimples back and forth getting every last little white spot in there to go away. All right, come back a little bit more. Just on both sides of my brush, doesn't matter. Ooh, that's a lot in that area. So now I'm gonna try to really stretch it. Look at how much still wants to grow over here. Don't need a whole huge amount. Just want it to be nice and thin and enough to cover over all of those little spots, right? Now we'll go back and forth, just like this. And then once we go wash this brush off, you can do the same thing with the white and then peel your tape off, right? Or just take it off. If you've got a nice, good canvas that's a good quality and it, it's already been, you know, triple primed or double primed, then you should be good with just with the black. So we've got every last little section here. I'm gonna take our canvas out, gonna rotate it around. I'll show you over here, we can do the bottom. Let's see, just like so, right? Taking it, making it black. And that way it's gonna look like it came from the factory like this. Maybe one day Paint with Josh will be big enough that Michaels and Hobby Lobby will start selling canvases that are already black and white for us, right? Little half and half skis. That's how you know you've made it big, Josh, if they start making half and half black and white canvases. That's gonna be the day. So a little bit more of the black, very gentle. And I definitely don't wanna flick it down onto my painting that I have hanging down underneath the easel, right? Normally we don't do this part up here. So let's bring it down here. There we go. Now I can actually see it. 
and all those little white dots filled in, all the bits around the side. And just within a few minutes, you got a very cool half and half black and white canvas, right? which I'm gonna paint later on today. So if you wanna go see that video, you can find it on, uh, actually it's gonna be a TikTok Live, so you won't be able to find it, but you'll be able to see reels and shorts and all sorts of stuff that I make out of it. And we're gonna crank this sucker down. What happened over here? Oh, I must have got some gesso up on the side of my canvas. Oh well. Oh. With our painting, it's only going to take a few minutes to dry. So, when we go back around, we'll grab the edge of that tape, peel it off, and now all of a sudden you got a gorgeous half and half black and white canvas ready to do a gorgeous sunset on the top and then keep those dark shadows down underneath. That's why we paint on black canvas, right? So, thank you for watching this video. If it was helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Uh, follow my channel, subscribe, do all the stuff you're supposed to do, share me with all your family and your friends, your grandma's probably going to love me, and uh, I can't wait to see what you've painted when you finish this scene, so send it into facebook.com slash paintwithjosh, and until I see you guys again next time, take care, have the rest of a good day, and bye bye